Dr. Rod Shaw from Math Plus Academy and today we are going to be talking about drawing stars as our math treat. Now here I have drawn seven fairly equally spaced dots and you could maybe imagine that these are seven people in a top-down view and they have a ball and they're going to throw the ball to each other in a very distinct pattern. Uh, they might decide, I'm just going to throw it to the very person who's right next to me. So I throw it to this person, they throw it there, and all the way around. And we could diagram that, and that would be the ball goes from here to here to here to here, and all the way around. And of course, that's a very fair game. Every single person is going to touch the ball. Great. Now, what if we change the rule and we say, okay, how about we throw it to every second person? So if I'm, I'm here and I start, I'm going to skip this person and throw it to that one. So I might do that. So we could represent that throw right there. Now we're going to continue to do that. So this person is going to throw it, skip this one, and throw it to there. So that's our second point. And now, one question I have is, is this going to be a fair game? Is every person going to touch the ball? Who knows, right? So this is part of what we're going to explore is if we change the number of dots, or how we throw the ball from one person to another. Does everyone always touch it? Or are there some cases where they don't? What kind of shapes do we get? All really cool things to explore with this simple premise. So I'll finish this one so we can see what's going to happen. But I'd like you to make a prediction first. Do you think it'll touch every single person before it gets back to me? Or will only a few people see it and other people will be left out? Okay, have your prediction? Here we go. So one throws over there, and then they throw to here. We're gonna skip here and go to there. Skip, go to here, skip, go to there, skip, go to here, and skip back to the top. And then this would, of course, repeat. And we'd have a nice, fair game where everyone gets to touch the ball. Everybody's happy. And this game we're gonna call the seven, two, game. Seven people or seven dots and every second person is how our rule for connecting the dots or throwing the ball from one person to another. Okay, now of course as mathematicians we're going to keep exploring so we might then explore the seven three game. So let's try that. I'll make another one right here. Do my best to keep these fairly well and evenly spaced. There are seven more dots. And now we want to do a 7-3. So this is going to be our 7-3. So again, I'll start. That'll be me. And we'll skip two people and throw to the third. Just like that. And then this person will skip two and throw to the third. Just like that. Now having seen that, I would like you to guess. Is everyone going to see the ball? Or will it get back to me before... Uh, not everyone touches it, so people get left out. That is the question. Okay, do you have your guess? All right, here we go. So let's see, this person is going to skip two and throw over there. And this person is going to skip two and throw across. Skip two from there, skip two to there, and skip two and back to me. Okay. Now, you're probably seeing why we call this stars, because this looks a lot like a, a star, I mean, a seven-pointed star, which is kind of neat. And in a way, I guess you could call this a seven-pointed star. I mean, there are seven little triangles here on the outside. So, and in this case, in a 7-2 and a 7-3, everyone touches the ball. Now, you should be wondering, what about 7-4 and 7-5 and 7-6? So, try this. Put some dots down as evenly spaced as you can. Follow these rules and see if everyone touches the ball. Now that's for seven, but we can also explore this for a different number of dots or a different number of people. So that is another thing we can try. And there again, will that change if everyone sees it or if it doesn't? Or are there certain combinations where everyone gets the ball, but then other combinations where some people get left out? How many people get left out? How many people are included? Do they balance out? Can we leave out just one person? All sorts of interesting questions to explore 
and also just fun to look at the little star type shapes that we get. I'll do one more example just to give you uh, an idea of something else that might happen. Okay, now I have removed one person from the game. There are six dots here, and maybe I'll do a six, two. So every second person is going to see the ball, and we're gonna skip one person and go to the second. What do you think this is gonna look like? Can you predict this right now? Try that, and then try it and see what happens. We'll start again at the top, we'll skip one and go to here, skip one and go to there, skip one and go back to the top. That's it, oh, three people got the ball, three people got left out, interesting. Now these other three people, they could get another ball and play their own game, and then we would get that. So that's another thing to think about. Could there be simultaneous games where some people are playing with one ball and another group of people playing with another ball and then everyone gets one? I don't know. And then I have another question, which is we called this activity stars, and I wonder, is that a star? Would you want to call that a three-pointed star? I mean, obviously, I know we call this a triangle, but do we want to call it a three-pointed star? We saw what a seven-pointed star looks like. You've probably seen a five-pointed star before that looks like that. By the way, this is, uh, you can think of this as a game with five people where you throw to every second person. See, what? skip one, go to there, skip one, go to here, skip one, go to there, and you end up with this. So this is actually a five-two, and it makes the traditional five-pointed star. So I wonder if that's a three-pointed star. You can decide what you think. Uh, but you might try a 6-3, a 6-4, and see what other things you get. So, challenge today is choose a certain number of people, change your skip number, and see if you can develop an intuition for what the picture is going to look like. Will everyone get the ball? Will somebody be left out? Will the star that you make be kind of pointy or not so pointy? What, and if you want to go even further and you're into geometry, formal geometry, you might start thinking about what are the angles? What are the angles of these things? And are there any patterns or predictions you can make about the angles from only knowing the number of dots and the skip number? So uh, this is one, it's a really fun exploration. You can discover some really cool things and make some pretty quick pictures in the process. So as always, please do this and have fun playing with math.